What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. So I'm gonna pull some cards and get a message out for y'all. I definitely do hope that the messages resonate for y'all and overall I hope the messages are useful, okay? And with that being said, we're just gonna jump right into it, okay? So right off the bat, you have the page of cups. You have the seven of swords coming out. You have the page of wands. You have the temperance card. You have the three of wands. You have the queen of swords. You have the page, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands, excuse me. And lastly, you have the Page of Swords. All the pages are out here. You got um, Sagittarius energy out here heavily, air sign energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You got the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? Someone could be like planning something, um, planning to contact you, honestly, is what it feels like. It doesn't feel like it's something that's going to happen tomorrow. It's almost giving me an energy of like someone waiting for like you to calm down or for like the dust to settle in a situation. What's the seven of swords? What's the seven of swords? Yeah, you have the moon. I'm sorry, the eight of cups. Yeah, it's almost giving me the energy of like someone strategically trying to prevent you from moving away, um, walking away rather. Like trying to offer you something that is almost like you can't refuse in a way. This could be an offer, them telling you something as well. Them trying to play nice, especially with this Page of Cups, the Page of Wands, it's almost like someone could be trying to extend some sort of like heartfelt apology. Someone definitely does feel like they want to test, I don't know, like the waters. They view you as somebody who's really, really like intellectual though, like smart, like it has to make sense for you. Like this is not somebody like, Whoever this is feeling this way about you, they know that you aren't somebody who's going to make any sort of like rash decision right away. Like something has to make sense. Something has to have some sort of plan for you to what like whether it's to like get involved with it, um, attach your name to it, collaborate, sponsor, be a part of like whatever. Um, they know, like I said before, it has to make sense to you. What's the page of wands? You got the four wands and the two of swords. This could even be somebody who feels like you are a little bit closed off. I wouldn't necessarily say jaded but it's definitely giving me like a closed off energy. Like this definitely does feel like it's somebody who wants to get close to you. Like whoever this energy is, is like they are uncertain about like your views when it comes to like living with a partner, being with someone just in general at this point and kind of like your life. They definitely do feel like you are, it feels like worried about yourself. You're worried about your own future endeavors. What's this page of cups with the ace of wands coming out? And you do have the three of pentacles. It does signify some sort of like partnership though, working together. I would be mindful though, because it does seem like somebody is trying to like save their own ass in a situation or like bring you into something because it's almost like they know you would make something more comfortable 
you would be somebody who was like reliable as well in a certain situation. You could be quitting a job as well. Like I'm also getting like, yeah, with the two of wands, like you're choosing yourself in a certain situation. Something right now in your life could just, it could feel like things aren't making sense like in your life. Not saying like, it's a woe with me type of like energy. Y'all are crazy. Like it's a woe, with me, woe is me type of energy, like I said before. But it's definitely given like, you're wanting to move on. You're wanting for things in your life to kind of like make sense. Like almost like you want to be happy. And it seems like it, like you want to be happy in a career, a career path as well. Like there's an energy where it's like you could be f feeling like tired of working a job just because you have to or because it makes good money. But it's not something you necessarily wish to do long term or something see if this is a job you've been at for a very very long time it's almost like okay this was fun in the beginning or this was fun while it lasted but it's almost like my heart is being pulled to a different place you get what i'm saying um my passion um it, for this is like dying out is burning out and i'm finding interest in something else as well like this could definitely be you trying to build something a new career from the ground kind of like up as well okay especially with that page of wands, the four of wands with the two of swords, there could be a thing to where it's like, you could want to switch your career or go to a different job, but it's almost like, okay, well, I, would I still be able to make ends meet? Will I still be able to afford my apartment, my car note, my living lifestyle, my home, et cetera, et cetera, my family? Will I still be able to be a good partner? Whatever the case may be, you know, financially, spiritually, the whole nine, like it's something to where Yeah, you definitely could be worried about if something is going to like make sense when it comes to like being able to live out some sort of lifestyle that you're kind of like used to. What's the page of wands and the three of pentacles? You got the lovers. You got Gemini energy out here as well. It's definitely talking about someone wanting to make amends with you as well. Like I said earlier extremely what's the three of wands you got the four of pentacles and you have the eight of wands coming out as well and the eight of wands did want to come out in reverse and yeah it definitely is giving me like you could feel like you're at some sort of like standstill and not saying it's a bad thing you get what i'm saying not every halt or like hiccup that comes along in your life has to be a negative thing you get what i'm saying redirection is direction um even if we feel like we don't need it or feel like you know it comes at a time where it's unwanted um because it definitely does feel like you are being redirected in some way shape or form and it definitely does feel like it will make you uncomfortable if it isn't already okay this could be a loss of a job as well it definitely does feel like you are being set down okay it's time for you to kind of like wake up and smell the roses what do you want to do what is going to make you happy you get what i'm saying forget the fact that something does pay well for you or you reach you know some sort of level of accomplishment where it's like you're able to be comfortable is 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 it making you happy are you happy to wake up and go to this job if not you get what i'm saying what what does make you happy to get up and go to work what does make you happy in general to just get up and it's almost like you will find it. And it, it almost feels like in due time. This definitely doesn't feel like it's an energy where, you know, once you read this, um, once you hear this reading tomorrow, boom, you get what I'm saying? Something phenomenal may happen for you or you may get some sort of big break. You know, hey, you never know. But it definitely doesn't give me that. And I'm not going to sit here and say that like, oh, tomorrow, you know, you're going to find your dream job and move away and live happily ever after. Um Again, who knows? You get what I'm saying? Because they may be where a point in your life you've done the work and you you know you did work hard and all of a sudden you know some sort of accomplishment does come through for you. But it definitely is talking about you being redirected and and needing to kind of like slow down with this Eight of Wands in Reverse with this Four of Pentacles. Like it's almost time for some sort of like rediscovery. 
when it comes to like who you are as well, like what do you want to look like in the next five years? What do you want your life to look like in the next five years? You get what I'm saying? Could even be in the next four, the next eight. Shit, the next three with the um, three of wands. What's the eight of wands in reverse and the four of pentacles? Whoa. You got the ten of pentacles coming out. You had three more come out with that as well. Four more. I'll take that. You got the hermit, the sun, the seven of cups. And you also do have the five of pentacles for the eight of wands and the four of pentacles. You got Leo energy out here. Um, Virgo as well. Heavy Sagittarius. Yeah, right now could definitely be some sort of like rediscovery about like who you are, what you want for your own life as well. Like it's definitely giving me something to where you could have lived for other people and not saying like it's a bad thing, but like say you had kids really, really young. And you had to do what you had to do. You had to take care of siblings, a parent. You get what I'm saying? A family just in general. And it's almost like you kind of had to do things that you had to do, especially as far as work, instead of doing things that you wanted to do. Um, or even growing up at a time to where, you know, you didn't have people who encouraged your dreams and your goals. So you went towards the most mundane things or you went, you know, towards the jobs and the careers and the goals that was almost more like realistic, if that makes sense. It's almost like being a kid and wanting to be an actor, or, you know, or in the limelight in some way, shape or form, or even like a writer, like some people can see that as not being realistic or, you know, it's, it's you can only have like five minutes of fame sort of situation as well. That's what it kind of like feels like. And it's definitely is hitting me where it's, it's almost like you don't want to be in a time period where this energy lasts too long. Cause it's definitely giving me like someone feels like they are unfulfilled. That's what the energy kind of like is giving me. Not saying that you're unhappy, because it's not giving me a somber type of like energy, but it's definitely giving me an energy where you could definitely be feeling unfulfilled right now. And not because of nobody else, but it's because you um, subconsciously want way more for yourself. And it's almost like you're not recognizing that. Especially if you have been feeling like down or you get what I'm saying, you want some sort of change. It, start, it starts with you. The change starts with you. You're the only one that can make the change kind of like happen, especially for yourself. What's this Queen of Swords? What's the Queen of Swords? You got the Page of Pentacles coming out. Now all the pages are out here. <laughs> What's the Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles? You got the, someone definitely is going to, it feels like to be starting over. This could even be a relationship because the lovers is out here. I don't even got the two of cups. This could be a relationship as well. Um, or again, a mindset. It definitely does feel like you are going, you're getting ready to start some sort of journey over again. And not necessarily the same journey, but it's it's a journey of like self-discovery. What makes you happy? What do you, re what do you really want to invest in? Who do you really want to invest in? This isn't bad at all. What's the Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles? You have the Seven of Wands. 77 could be of importance. Seven. Yeah, because there could have been a thing where you felt like a lot of things were like in your way. Like there was some sort of injustice that like happened that prevented you from like going after the things that you wanted. And again, life is life. You get what I'm saying? I can't focus on that right now. I gotta wait. A lot of distractions with this one so far. What's the Seven of Pentacles? There could be someone as well who, yeah, with this moon, is harboring up some sort of, 
I wouldn't say animosity, but it definitely feels like some sort of like emotion by the fact that it does feel like you are picking up the pieces, okay? Or the fact that you're able to kind of pick up the pieces. Like, cause there could have been someone who feels as though they weren't able to live out some sort of dream or goal that they wanted to. And the fact that you are going to be able to do this, especially if you haven't already, they're looking at you as like, as it, they're looking at it as that being unfair, especially with that seven of swords and like eight of cups, especially if someone like used to put down your dreams or like be very, very shady when it comes to like your accomplishments, especially like in the past, I will honestly say I didn't get the six of cups, but it definitely does feel like someone wants you to walk away with this, walk away from the idea of like things working out for the best. Like someone definitely feels like they have a very negative mindset. It, it could be an energy that is around you. This could have been, you know, a lover as well. Um, someone that you know you broke up with or that you could have even divorced from with this queen of swords. But they definitely do feel like it's not fair that, I don't know, like you're very hopeful. You got Cancer Pisces energy out here. What's the moon? You got the Ace of Cups. Very hopeful, it feels like you are. For a lot of just different things. Like you are not somebody who kind of like stays still. You're not somebody who allows things, especially things that negatively impact you, impact you for a very long time, especially not your future. And you do have people wondering how, almost like, how do you do that? Because it's almost like whether you talk about it or not is from the way you speak, kind of like how the way you carry yourself, people know you, know you to be somebody who's very wise. Even if people do know things that you've like been through, it's almost like, how is this person getting over these type of things? Because if I went through it, I don't know if I would be able to press forward or continue, especially not in a positive manner especially not thinking positively about my future or, you know, mm. it feels like you're really growing to love yourself. And even if you don't feel like that part is resonating for you, I'm encouraging you to start loving more on yourself. Because someone here has a very, very, very promising like future ahead of them. Very, very promising. No matter if you do something and it doesn't work out and you try something else again, can, can continue to try, continue to set goals for yourself. Because I feel like you're going to stumble upon something that like really works out for you and something that you really enjoy doing, something that you really love to do. Like in the moment you do stop doing whatever this is, like whatever, especially when it aligns to like your purpose, the moment you do retire or, you know, you just stop in general, people are going to really, really miss kind of like you. And that's kind of like foreshadowing, I guess you could say, but yeah. What's this Knight of Wands? Definitely don't give up on like your hopes and your dreams, the things you want to accomplish with the Ace of Swords. What's the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords? Like, keep going. Even if things don't work out for you in the beginning, continue to go towards something else. You get what I'm saying? Don't get, yeah, with the Magician coming out in reverse. Do not allow, like, the misfortunes, yeah, to cl cl cloud kind of like your judgment. Because there are going to be things that we don't get chosen for. There's going to be situations where, you know, people may not want us. You get what I'm saying? A job may not, you know, hire us, whatever the case may be. Things are not always going to go kind of in your way. But it definitely does feel like the divine is really trying to signify, like, you will be taken care of. Your, your manifestations will come into fruition. But it's almost like the things that you once felt like was for you, was for you at a particular time. But now it's time to kind of, like realign with something new get into get into new passions meet new people that's what it feels like it feels like a lot of your taste is going to like change you could be eating like newer foods as well like it feels like someone's taste buds are going to change you could have a child as well who wasn't used to eating certain foods now they're about to start eating into like say it's like vegetables like i don't know someone's whole palette in general is about to like really really change obviously with that part i'm talking about you <laughs> not your child <laughs> um 
But yeah. What's the uh, magician in reverse? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the magician in reverse? You got the two of cups. You got the five of wands. Yeah, and you got the nine of swords. Yeah, I don't know if this is like a friend. You have somebody who really... Oh, boy. Again, I'm not into the hocusy pocusy, but again, gossip is a form of like witchcraft as well with the six of swords at the bottom. And it could be as simple as this is, but you definitely do have someone who definitely was not a supportive person in your, in your corner. Um, really going against the things that you wanted to manifest for yourself, I feel like at one point in time, I definitely don't feel like this person is still around you. Um, it's really not giving me that this person is in close like proximity to you at this point. This could have been somebody you worked with as well with the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. This could have been like a third party of someone else as well, a friend of a friend. It definitely gives like a little jealous, but it's definitely somebody who definitely was like projecting their shortcomings onto you and the fact that something did not stick and you're still kind of like prevailing almost like in life even if you do again hit bumps in the road you get up and that's the most important thing you get what i'm saying some people when they trip and fall they trip and fall and they they stay falling <laughs> okay they stay tripping okay <laughs> trying to force something to work that clearly isn't aligned for them more so is what it feels like whereas though you are learning and accepting the fact that if something isn't for you, there's no point in trying to continue to pull it closer to you. Instead of doing that, it's best to like let it go and move in a different direction. That's what it, that's what it feels like. If someone really wanted to see you like struggle or beg for something that was not aligned for you, and that is okay. Not everything is supposed to be for everybody. Not everybody is supposed to do the things that they are. You know, I wouldn't say the things that they are interested in because that kind of doesn't make like any type of not is it, mm, something just was not aligned for you i feel like and even if at one point in time something did go your way you get what i'm saying something was aligned for you it's almost saying like it's time to almost like get realigned it's something with your passions i cannot get over that i want to keep saying passions realignment redirection Because you could have slowly seen seen something falling as well or seen yourself slowly losing passion for something as well. And it was almost like somebody wanted to see you struggle to almost like make something work it what it feels like, whether this is a relationship, some sort of friendship, a job, a business. It was like somebody really loved the idea of like hearing you complain about something not going your way because it almost made them feel, I don't, I don't know why, but feel good. And the fact that you are kind of like rising up to almost like it feels like this higher thinking is not necessarily scaring them but it's scaring them to know that almost like you know that you have the potential to make anything kind of like happen for yourself what's the five of wands yeah what's the five of wands by yourself you got the queen of wands this person can be a fire sign or this person can rely heavily like on their looks their charm as well to get them kind of like far or ahead this could be someone who is jealous of your looks what's the five of wands nine of swords and the two of cups you got the two of pentacles This definitely could be somebody else's like third party as well with the star like there could even be a thing only take if it resonates if it don't let it float um where someone like wants to be juggled with you um or wants the attention of someone who solely wants your attention and this could be meeting someone new as well and it's almost like they have like a troubled ex or like someone who won't leave them alone and it's almost like they're doing any any and everything in their power to kind of like catch this person interest again catch their attention again yeah like this is somebody who really doesn't mind being like it's, it's weird but they don't whoever yeah if that like resonates even at the slightest it's definitely someone who wants to like compete with you be juggled with you it's weird
What's the Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles? You got the strength. You got more Leo energy out here. Yeah, somebody who's not allowing, letting something go with the Queen of Cups. And it could definitely be like the fact that someone like cares about you. Like it almost feels like someone is in disbelief. Or even the fact that a community cares about you as well. There's some sort of disbelief. It's some sort of negativity somebody is holding on to, harboring, if you may, when it comes towards you. What's the strength card? This person has no access to you, though, if that is the case. That's where I feel like that magician in reverse is coming from, literally, with the world and the three of swords. Like, however someone wanted to affect you, especially if they were able to before, is either about to come to an end or especially if it already didn't, okay? You got heavy Leo energy, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. What's this um, temperance card? You got the King of Pentacles. What's the um, King of Pentacles? You got the Six of Cups. And what's the temperance with the King of Pentacles? You got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, like especially even if you're like you're a man, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Or you could obviously be a woman as well coming out as this King of Pentacles, like basically somebody who had to like raise a family on your own, um, handle business kind of like on your own, like you didn't really have nobody helping you. But especially if you are a man or a more masculine like energy, you definitely could have almost like you could have fallen like on your face or went through some sort of like hardship to where money was tight i'm not going to call you broke or anything like that but money was tight you know what i'm saying you couldn't um afford different things you couldn't afford a certain lifestyle you know you had to watch other people kind of like not have fun in your own it's not like have fun in front of your face but like There was some, it feels like there was some sort of lesson in the past that like really had to kind of break you down to build you back up. And it's almost like the fact that you will allow this to happen or you already did allow this to happen. It's, it's, it feels like something even greater is coming in towards you. And it feels like because you had some sort of faith that is almost like you will be redirected. You will be aligned with, it feels like your actual purpose. Like it feels like somebody went through some sort of test to where your faith ultimately was being tested. Like, do you believe in me? Do you believe in the most high? Do you believe that with you co-creating with the most high, that things will work out kind of like in your favor? Are you going to give up? And I definitely do feel like with this um, Ten of Swords, it definitely does feel like people from your past, this could be a Sagittarius and Earth sign as well. You could be this, could be the Sagittarius or this Earth sign. You could even be a Gemini, okay? Um, to where you definitely were being talked about, especially your shortcomings in the past, you were being talked about by past people these could be friends lovers people you grew up with it feels like that's what always what the six of cups gives me sometimes is people you grew up with people who've seen you grow up so this could be older family members older cousins aunts uncles whatever it's people who were more mature than you at one point in time people who were able to see you go through trials and tribulations someone could have grew up in like a blue home a yellow home And someone really likes pink. It's pink and blue. Someone can have twins, fraternal twins, a boy and a girl. But yeah, you definitely, your shortcomings was definitely being talked about, child. Definitely was, okay? <laughs> and it's almost like the people who did talk about you, they have to eat their words, especially this person on the side, this fire sign, this Taurus, possibly, this Aquarius, this Scorpio, this Leo. Someone who is now finding themselves juggling, almost like finding the same reasons why someone possibly was like laughing about, you know, you or picking fun at you or like, 
you know, making shady remarks behind your back. It's almost like now the rules are switching and someone can't fathom it, basically. Yeah, like if somebody was like really projecting onto you or like they're about to like really have to eat their words because it's almost like whatever you went through is almost like now it's like the divine is like, well, are you going to pass this test? Because you are already did or they are right now. Are you going to pass this test? Are you going to make it? Are you going to land kind of like on your feet or are you going to continue to fall? Because it was all fun and games. <laughs> What's this page of swords? You got the two of wands with the knight of cups. Or the knight of cups right there with the two of wands. The knight of cups fell first. What's the page of swords? You got the death. You got um Scorpio energy out here. And what's this knight of cups with the two of wands? What's the Knight of Cups and the Two of oh, the Wands? You got the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups. Yeah, there's something. Because I would, I can see this as a reconciliation with someone you thought things were over with as well. Um, and if you don't want nobody back, trust me. If you don't want someone back, because that's like a theme as well. Um, and that's okay to put that in the comments. I mean, it doesn't bother me at all. But also do keep in mind, if you don't want somebody back, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna be with them. Um, so for those who do want somebody back um, or hope to, cause I can see it in two ways. This could definitely be talking about you being realigned, um, you going through some sort of massive, massive transformation. And almost like the fact that you've, you learned some sort of lesson with that page of swords. Um, you could have realized something was happening repetitively, whether it was family drama or friendship drama or love, you know, in the love department, some sort of drama. Um, it was almost like you took the time out to kind of see these patterns, realize, okay, every new person I'm meeting, the same ending is kind of like occurring or the same issues are kind of like occurring, right? Because nobody is perfect. It takes two to tango. You may think you are perfect. You may think you don't get on someone's nerve. You may think that what you do does not bother somebody else. You may feel like you don't have any maturing in any area of your life to work on. That's a bit delusional. I'm not even going to lie to you. Even as a tarot reader, I feel like I wouldn't even be able, it's not about me, but I feel like I wouldn't be able to even do this if I didn't realize my own shortcomings. You get what I'm saying? I I wouldn't say I was a horrible person, but I had realized my, I, my own shortcomings, what people did to me, I could have took out in my love life, or I could have been skittish with people. I could have been someone who didn't trust easily, but at the same time, that pushes people away. You get what I'm saying? That makes me overreact to situations where I could have just talked it out with a certain person or, you know, apologized or whatever. That's where the ego kicks into play. You get what I'm saying? But someone is definitely learning and is going through some sort of massive transformation, which is allowing some sort of greater purpose to kind of like naturally come towards them. And it's going to put you in a position where, again, earlier, you're not going to have to do something to where you feel like you have to do it because it makes ends meet or, you know, it provides the comfortability to live some sort of lifestyle where it takes care of this person. It takes care of that person. You're going to be aligned with a purpose to where you're going to have fun doing it and you're going to make a, a, a nice little coin for it as well, basically. And it's because of your transformation. It's because you learn the lesson almost of a life. We all are going to learn until the day we all go. Unfortunately, life is a, a learning process. Um, but it definitely does feel like someone is learning a lot about themselves, okay? Especially a lot of the things that like happened to them. It feels like in their childhood, teenage years as well, things that really affected you and really realizing how it's affecting you as well, how you come off to people, how you're treating people. And again, this definitely could be a transformation in some sort of love dynamic if you choose, you know, that as well. For those who want that with the empress at the bottom yeah i will always be transparent with y'all never think that you are perfect 
just because, yeah, no, nah, never mind. Sometimes it's like talking to a brick wall child. Because I don't know what this energy is like giving me, but it's almost like someone who feels like they don't have to grow or like they is almost giving me like a know-it-all energy. And it's almost like being, because I'm not here to preach to y'all and I'm not here to preach to a damn choir at all. But it also is, I don't know why it's bugging me this bad, but really keep in mind that you can also push people away. You can also push good people away. The same way you've been through things and you had to learn through things, other people are as well. And I'm not saying if somebody puts you through, you know, some sort of like abuse, you get what I'm saying? There's levels to disrespect, babe. I mean, disrespect is disrespect, but some things you can come back from, some things you can't come back from. You get what I'm saying? And allow people allow those who are able to come back into your life or who if say if there's like a simple disagreement you get what i'm saying and it's almost like a a a, a simple conversation can fix things allow someone grace allow them to have grace for yourself as well allow grace for your own self i don't because it's something with that transformation because I, I don't know someone really thinks they're like the shit not saying that we're not because you should feel that way. You should feel most confident about yourself. But it definitely is giving me an energy because I'm being really, really compelled to say it to where it's like you, you, someone's going to get in their own way thinking that they are, they don't have to change or like the world is against them or like. Mm -hmm. I just want to be completely honest with y'all. It's almost like the divine feels like they're yelling at somebody like you're not perfect either <laughs> mm. what's this death what's the death you got the king of wands and what's the death in the king of wands with the hangman and what's the death the king of wands and the hangman you got the ace of pentacles I definitely do feel like some sort of offer is in the horizon for you, for somebody. Could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, a fire sign. Again, this could be something for you, or this could be a transformation of a relationship you once were in with the Eight of Swords, especially if there's someone like, you know, you can't get over. And I'm not saying be delusional of someone that moved on, child, allow them to move on, or if you don't want them back. Obviously, this part's not for you. You get what I'm saying? Um, but especially if you, if you are able to give someone grace, you get what I'm saying? Give that to them. And again, give it to yourself as well. Okay. What else, child? What else? Um, What's the seven of swords and the eight of cups? You have the tower. And that came out in reverse as well. I'm going to take it in reverse. What's the tower in reverse? You have the empress. You got Aquarius, energy, Taurus, Libra. With the five of swords at the bottom. What's the tower in reverse? Someone has to walk away from some sort of, with the four of swords, some sort of mindset, but it feels like when it comes to you, I don't know what this energy is. Like there's someone, I wouldn't say this person hates you, but it's like, they definitely don't like you. They don't like you. <laughs> um, and I feel like it's, you like your embodiment like but it's almost giving me they hate you because they ain't you type of like energy like this is somebody who wishes they embody kind of like the energy you have 
especially if like i don't i don't know what this is about like say you are a man but you're feminine or you're a woman but you're a little bit more masculine like someone nitpicks like at you but it's because it's almost like you have a very very good balance it's almost like you you either are growing to know yourself or you're you're currently getting to know yourself as well it's like someone's lacking that acknowledgement like someone lacks who they want to be like it's almost like the purpose that you're going to find is fitting for you because it's for you and it's almost like someone someone's extremely forceful extremely forceful they force a mess they force a character and it's almost like you not having to do that allows more blessings to come your way allows positive things to enter into like your life and it's almost like someone isn't grasping that almost because they're not looking through your point of view. They don't, they're not experiencing your journey. You get what I'm saying? They're not experiencing your awakenings, whether they, they are choosing not to wake up or they're choose, or it's honestly not even their time yet. Like someone feels like it's either, they are still in the midst of like figuring out their own lessons, but it's almost like they want to rush it because they feel like you're getting back up from a lot of the hardships you experience. Like someone, is lit someone feel it feels like someone has fallen the moment you have gotten back up like someone was on a really really high horse when you were down whether that's where you was hustling you get what i'm saying or you went through some sort of you know a job loss you know a, a financial buying whatever the moment you started to have your awakenings and your lessons you know your spiritual you know on your spiritual journey you you started getting on your path someone was like really on the up and up things were looking good for them you get what i'm saying and it's almost like now that they're going through their trials and tribulations of life you've kind of like learned yours so now you're going up to where it's like they feel like they're right here they're they feel stagnant and it's almost like the things they used to laugh at you about it's almost like they're going through those same things it's almost like someone's going through those same lessons and it's almost like they're having a hard time dealing with it. Like that's what if like someone's having a hard time dealing with the fact that it's like, shit, I'm not perfect or, you know, things aren't always going to go my way. This could be someone who's not very selfish, but um, who was very like spoiled, very coddled to the fact of like thinking they're, they're like people. <sighs> and what I mean by that is like, you ever met someone who or this is really for an example, but it's giving me like an individual who got a lot of things, you know, in their childhood or nobody really told them, you know, right from wrong or they shouldn't say this or they shouldn't do that. Or, um, you know, basically not everybody is going to like kiss you behind. It's almost like this feels like it's an adult learning this. Like people are either getting fed up with them or people are, you know, not really trying to continue to help them. Like this is somebody who feels like they've almost possibly been in the cycle for a very long time um, to where they're neglecting some sort of change. They're lacking the acknowledgement of the fact that they have to change. Time, or ch time is changing. You get what I'm saying? People that you know will start families. They're going to start, you know, careers, you know, they're going to start to thrive in their own life to where, you know, they can't keep helping you or you get what I'm saying? It's going to start bringing them down or it's going to affect their own family. You get what I'm saying? But this is definitely giving me someone who is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not even coming to me. Entitled. They feel entitled to like, not even just to things, but to people like you have to help me or you have to help me find out a resolution, even when that resolution is right in front of their face. You get what I'm saying? It's like this is somebody who's very, very blind. They're very blinded. This could be a water sign. You could be this water sign. What's this um, page of cups? Ace of Wands with the Three of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. What's the six of wands? You got the knight. Definitely take action on the things you want to take action on, especially when it comes to career, new business ventures as well. Take action. Do things that are going to make you happy with the chariot. I feel like you'll definitely be supported by the divine and that community you want to be a part of as well. 
definitely take action, especially with this Ace of Cups. Like you're going to grow to love something. And I feel like somebody may be into something like, because I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know if I used this example before, but I used to want to be a vet growing up. Like I remember the earliest age I wanted to be a vet. You know, clocky, you know, tell me all stuff about me. <laughs> um, it was in like second grade. I remember the earliest I knew I loved like basically animals and wanting to help and just to be like a vet. The earliest age was like second grade. Like people in my family knew, friends I ended up meeting. Like people knew okay, Lynn was going to go to school to, like, be in the veterinarian, you know, well, yeah, be in that type of field in general. Um, and then I graduated high school, went to, like, you know, veterinarian technician school and learned, like, whoa, babe, <laughs> this is not for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I moved into healthcare, found out I work with people a lot more, especially the elderly. Child, I love the elderly. Um, a little soft spot, okay? Um, I love the elderly child. But, um, no people in general, but, and where I was going with that was basically, so in 11th grade, you know, you start to basically look into colleges, you start doing the whole nine with that. It really was like 10th, but 11th grade, we started taking a little bit more seriously, I guess you can say. And if anybody would have told me, you know, you, do you know what tarot is? You're going to be into it. You know, it's going to be something that I guess you could say works for you. You get what I'm saying? You're going to be able to help people, whether it's, you know, it's through readings on YouTube or it's through your personal. It's like you're going to be able to connect with people and to honestly feel like you're not alone either. You get what I'm saying? I've been through things. And, you know, with this, I was able to gain a community of people to where I read your comments. And I'm like, damn, I low key been through the same things or I know what this feels like. You get what I'm saying? To where I can have friends or family members who could not have been through the same things or empathize with me or sympathize with me at all to where you know I could read different things from people and y'all can connect with each other you get what I'm saying and I would be like I don't think you know what you're talking about like had someone told me that in 11th grade you know I would have been like babe I don't know what you're talking about at all even when it comes to being in healthcare, I would have for sure said babe I'm not working with nobody's elderly you know what I'm saying but I grew to love those things it took for me to I think I tried two times like i came back home from my veterinary technician school i came back home got a little homesick not gonna lie um came back home tried again at a different college it really was not working out for me it just was not i loved animals just not enough to work with them basically um and it was heartbreaking for me i was i didn't know where to go which i didn't know what to do at that point in time and at this point I didn't graduate high school, like I'm coming into an adult and you know, I'm a, I, would, I was an even younger man. And for me, I was raised to kind of like, you know, do what you have to do, not only just as, you know, an adult, but as a man, you get what I'm saying? You gotta make a way, you gotta figure out, you know, what you, what you wanna do for your life. And it took a blow, it took a blow to my ego, my self-esteem, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm seeing my friends go to college, they're thriving people getting jobs, they're thriving in different career paths. Like it took a blow, but I had to get redirected. I had to be realigned. You get what I'm saying? And then went into healthcare and then slowly moved in to tarot. That popped into my life and I found a passion in that. And that's what it feels like though. And that's, and I say all that to say like, do not get discouraged if things do not work out the way you want them to. You get what I'm saying? Redirection is low key a blessing. Okay, because it's almost like you don't want to be stuck doing something that you may not realize at one point in time you're not as passionate as you thought you were about a certain thing. Hopefully that makes sense. Like, <laughs> hopefully that makes sense, y'all. Hopefully. I feel like I'm talking in circles at this point. Just go after the things you want, okay? I definitely do feel like something is gonna work out way better than I feel like you realize. And again, do not be afraid of redirection. It is your friend, not your foe. What's this, lovers? And we're gonna end it. You got the Eight of Swords. What's the lovers? And you got the Nine of Wands. What's the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands? You got the five of, oh my gosh, you got the five of swords. And what's the lovers, the eight of swords, the nine of wands, and the five of swords? You got the, oh my gosh, you got the five of cups. With the star. 
I don't know if this is like you or somebody else, but somebody is very upset that like you don't want them or you're staying away from them. I hate the fact that I gotta close it out with this energy. Someone, and it's not even that, it feels like, especially with this lovers, like, it doesn't always have to be about relationship, but I feel like someone's really going to hate the community you build around yourself. And these could be other people in your field as well, believe it or not. This could be, fan, like, someone or people, whether it's people you know, people you don't know, people in a part of the same industry, community, job, whatever. It's something about the community of people that are going to, like, really love you and appreciate you. You're going to have people who are very envious of that. It doesn't even feel like with their lovers is about a relationship. It does not. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It does not feel like, oh, someone stuck on you or someone. Da, da, da. It does not feel that way. It honestly feels like it's going to be the fact that you're going to either love the work that you do or people are going to love you for what you do as well. And love you for you like it, that's what it feels like like you're going to meet some you're going to be a part of a really really strong community with the star can't show too much of her <laughs> like you're going to be in a very important a very important asset to a lot of people's lives what's this lovers one more and then we're gonna what's the lovers in the five of cups let's do that what did yeah people are going to mm-hmm the same, like you're going to start receiving, especially when you align with some sort of purpose, you're going to know what's for you. You're going to start receiving a lot of the love that you poured into a lot of different areas in your life that it kind of like you lack the emotional support or support in general or the feeling of community. You're going to have people really, really, really not liking the fact that it's almost like you're getting poured back into or the fact that you are building some sort of, again, community that loves and it feels like adores you, especially your work. Like the energy that you give out to whatever community or whatever this job is, you're going to receive it back. It literally feels like tenfold. Literally feels like tenfold. With the full. And you got one more that just slipped out with the judgment. You got the high priestess at the bottom. And I'm going to end it there, y'all. You got Libra energy, Pisces, Gemini, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Libra. Again, if I didn't say it already, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Leo, if I didn't say that, Gemini, I think I said that, Sagittarius. Y'all, those were the messages. I definitely do hope that the messages um, resonate for y'all. And overall, I hope the messages very useful for y'all and with that being said guys until next time stay blessed stay loved stay healthy stay the whole shit being you know what i'm saying i will see y'all in another reading bye